Hi everyone, Steve here. Today I'm going to uh, clear my lenses of my headlights. You know how they get sandblasted and they turn hazy? Well, today I'm not going to use any of those uh, over-the-counter products. Uh, today I'm going to do my own home uh, way of doing it. And uh, I'm going to do them on the truck here today. And I'll show you how I do them. First, of course, i got to take the, uh, the lens out of the truck so it's not so messy. And I got to get, uh, well, of course, clean water and a little bit of dish soap, sandpaper, and uh, see, and some polishes. But uh, I already did one on the other side. That was yesterday. But I thought I, I might show you my technique on how I do them. That one might be able to use a little bit more polishing, but I think it's pretty good compared to what it was. So I'll take you along and show you how I do them. So I uh, hope somebody can use this technique. I'll get back to you after I take off the uh, headlight. On the O2 Dodge Rams, they're pretty easy. You just uh, take out the three, it's like a Phillips screw, and then these pop off the rubber. And then you've got uh, these two bolts right here, which are 10 millimeter, and you've got one right back in there. If you can see that, I hope you can. That's okay if you can't, but if you, if you have an O2 ram, you'll find it. I got all, all the screws off. I pulled these off. This you just give it a little jank, a little yank. Then you reach your hands around in there and unplug your, your lights and your electrical. Where'd that screwdriver go? Careful with that ball. There you have it. See, can you see the difference in the one I did yesterday to the one I'm doing today? Where it's got that haze up on top. Uh, we're going to try to achieve, if not better, you know, all I've got is 400 grit sandpaper. You're better off going with 400 and then going down to a 600 you know, maybe then even a 1200, but uh, this way you don't have so much polishing to do afterwards, but uh, like I said, it's all I got is 400, so I'm going to do an awful lot of polishing. All right, when I water sand, I usually let the paper soak for a while, and I only go in a one-way motion. I don't do circles, and you can more or less just see it's starting to come off already. It takes a little while to get the whole thing nice and smooth. The way you want it, you got to cut down that one layer of plastic. And uh, it takes a little bit, a little bit of water sanding. And then I rinse it off with the hose to see if I'm satisfied with that. I'll show you when I get done with this so it won't be so long of a video. Yes, I'm still at it. I just reversed it, turned it around. Working the other side now. Well, of course I did this side first. Now I'm doing this side. Yeah, for any of us that's interested, I want to know that uh, my granddaughter, she's doing fine. Mommy's doing fine. Grandpa's a little angel. Sleeps a lot, but uh, that's good. Uh, like I say, I'm still at it. Once I get done with this, I'll bring you back and show you the polishing process. Basically, that's what the uh, lens looks like after you've been uh, water sanding it. And I'm going to take a coarser grit type polish to break that down a little bit, seeing that I don't have any finer grit sandpaper and I'm going to cut, cut that with a, with a coarse grit and work my way down with a finer compound. 
I'll take you over to the workbench and show you how I do that. I mounted my uh, sander polisher uh, right there into the vise. So I, don't, I only got myself. I don't have three hands. And uh, I start off with this compound here. It's a uh, plastic. Well, it's a glass polishing compound. You can pick that up at Eastwood. But, I mean, if you don't have this, you can use any kind of compound. And then work your way down. Then I use this compound, uh, McGuire's Ultimate Compo co Compound for, uh, you know, paint. And then I work my way down last to this Plastic X uh, McGuire's. And you polish it up with that. And... That's how I do it. I'll uh, go get it and show you what kind of mess I make over here. By the way, I do get a bottle of water, a spray bottle with water, and I always keep that wet so it doesn't get hot, doesn't melt on me. And I can start off with this compound here, which I just get my pad here, get it wet a little bit. see that okay and then I just wipe it all around on there then I go to work on it with the I plugged it in wouldn't it on the slowest speed of course Take your time, no pressure. Remember, keep it wet. Okay, I'll work that and then I'll show you on the next pass Okay, I rubbed it on that one with that compound. I kept it wet. Remember keeping it wet is very important. And this is the first first cut. As you see, it can, there is a difference. I don't change the pad. The pad is just a, an old black foam pad that I had for years. I don't even know if you can pick those pads up anymore. But uh, that's what I use. And then I go over, like I said, to this uh, Ultimate Compound by McGuire's. It works great on paint too, but uh, any kind of compound that would uh, work on paint could work on this plastic. You just got to make sure that uh, after you're done, you kind of like take off whatever wax coating is on there because that wax will yellow with the heat too. So I just use good old uh, soap and water, take that off. Okay, now remember now, that was that McGuire's Ultimate Compound, and I worked that for a while. I might use that three or four times, but uh, I'll just put this on this. Same thing, keep it wet. And then I'll show you when I get back. I'll show you when I get when I'm done with that one. That's after rubbing it down with that other McGuire's. Gave it about maybe five minutes on rubbing it on that one. Now I'll polish it with the Plastic X. It's a clear plastic. It's a cleaner and a polish. But if you just use this on there, this is so when basically they're almost brand new. But we have to get all that haze out of there in order for this stuff to work. So. Give it a good shake. Like I said, always make sure that your plastic is wet. Same thing on your glass, because if it gets hot, it will crack. Come on, baby. There we go. I can feel that this plastic is warm already, just from the little bit I've been doing it. Okay, and then it's a little messy, but make sure you wear glasses because it'll get in your eyes and everywhere. Work 
done that for a while. Okay, after I'm done with that, then what I'll do is I'll just take a little bit of this last polish, kind of give it a cleaning. Remember, when you're using it on that buffer, you got to keep it in motion. You don't want to stop it. You stop moving the lens around because you will burn it just like you'll burn paint. So, just be patient and uh, save yourself a couple hundred bucks. Oh, and a lot of water. Remember, keep that thing wet. Whatever you're, whatever you're trying to polish, keep it wet. You'll probably use a little bit more polishing, like up in this corner here and here, but that's what I'll do and then I'll put it on. But you get the idea. Okay, all right, let me uh, finish them up a little bit and then put them on the truck. There we go, just in time. So now I can go in and start making dinner. Got them all done. They didn't come out too bad, but I recommend using the uh, using the uh, 600 grit, 1200 grit, because that uh, 400 grit is just a little bit too abrasive. And uh, you'd be much happier using the 1200. So until the next time, this is Steve's Garage. Have a good one, guys. <laughs> that didn't sound good. I know what that was. That was the latch. Oh, wait a minute. It was my... Yeah, it was the latch to the, to the hood. I got to secure that. All right. Well, that's the next agenda. How do we replace your hood latch. See you later.